Guys, we're in the heart of Texas, and we are about to freaking race Texas Speed's Heads Cam 6th Gen Camaro. This has the world record for heads cam, stock bottom end LT1, naturally aspirated in the 6th gen. It's a stock uh, LT1 short block. It's got a set of our PRC LTX heads on it. It's got a custom Texas Speed solid roller cam and this uh, prototype. So you guys have seen the SR3 intake. So this is basically the long runner version of that for the LT. So this is full race. This is actually 3D printed. This as well as the uh, little inlet here. And uh, we've been testing it like this. We ran it on the dyno like this. We raced it like this, set the record like that. So it's pretty cool to see how far 3D printing's come. You guys can see how amazing that is and how smooth and all it is. That's, that's straight out the printer like that. We're running port injection on this because we do have a Holly Dominator on it. And uh, Holly doesn't quite have the direct injection addition to the Dominator out yet. So we're running the port injection. As soon as they have that out, we should be able to make even more power with the direct injection. So we do have the direct injection system in there to block off all the holes and everything but it is running on full port injection at the moment. So this is a carbon fiber trunk lid. I don't know how much weight that really saved, but it's pretty cool and uh, it is a little bit lighter. So in the trunk here, of course, it's gutted out. We have the Aeromotive fuel cell with an Aeromotive 340 stealth pump. Uh, we probably need a little bit more pump when we go run the direct injection system, so we'll worry about that then. Uh, over here we have a uh, lithium battery. That thing only weighs five pounds. Unbelievable. I had that thing on the scale before we put it in here. Five pounds. So as you can see here, a lot of this has all been deleted out. Tons of stuff gone underneath here. We still got the factory radiator. We did keep a lot of the factory parts on this car. We built this car in five weeks. It started as a uh, flood car from Hurricane Harvey. We got it in here. We had five weeks to build it. Potac got to work. And uh, so like I said, we, we didn't have time to change a lot of the things, a lot of factory stuff. Factory radiator. It's got a uh, aftermarket smaller fan on the back. We went with the Copo strange brake setup. We have strange coilovers in the front. We have the Flaming River Copo rack for the 6th gen. Here we got the BMR engine mounts. We did a video on that. I think they saved about five pounds. Uh, back here are the TSP 2-inch headers with custom off-road extensions. The transmission is a Turbo Action Metric 200 uh, Turbo Action converter as well. We keep coming back here to the G-Force uh, drive shaft connected to the G-Force 9-inch independent rear. Uh, this thing is awesome. I mean, we launched this car at 7500 when it still had the manual in it. No problems at all. Uh, G-Force axles, of course, really strong. A lot of the factory stuff back here as well. We got the factory sway bar, factory subframe. We did the BMR lockouts on the subframe to stiffen it up a bit, just so on that initial hit, it's not flexing as much. So we got the Copo switch panel in there. We got the BNM shifter. It's got a Holly Dominator. We changed out the screen there in the middle with the Dominator screen. So we'll check that out here in a minute. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it's uh, you know we kept the dash, kept the door panels. We didn't want to keep it too gutted because it just doesn't look good anymore. It's like it's fun to have a race car that still looks this good. So some of you might have noticed this uh, cool vent here in the fender. These are actually carbon fiber as well, and the doors. Okay, guys. Well, let's fire it up. 
So this thing's a little a little crazy on the cold star with the crazy low lash solid roller and everything. It definitely likes to be warm, so it's gonna take a minute to warm it up, but then we'll uh, get some sweet revs out of it and really hear this thing. Sounds like she needs a little bit of work on the idle, but hey, she runs good for barely ever getting driven.